Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing and flip through video. Today, we're gonna take a look at Colette Baron reeds brand new release, Oracle of the Seven Energies. This is also illustrated by Jenna Della Gradilia, and it is 49 cards and a guidebook all about the seven, number seven. Uh, it retails for $29.99 and it is published by Hay House. And it is a nice little box, like not gonna lie, it's pretty sturdy. So let's see what the back says real fast. And it says the wisdom of the energy of the seven can be seen in cultures all over the world in belief systems throughout history and in your own life today. Its influence is reflected in the way you think, how you make decisions, what you encounter within yourself and the conditions of your world. Drawing upon the power of the seven, this Oracle reveals how we as individuals experience our lives, giving us a framework from which to make empowered choices as we co-create our reality. With guidance from intuitive master and oracle expert Colette Baron Reed, you can now awaken the power of source within you, becoming a channel for divine abundance and miracles. And as always, I will link in the description box everywhere I know that you can find this deck. They will not be affiliate links and I do not get paid or sponsored for any of these videos. Uh, I just want you guys to find what you're looking for. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open her up. She is with a hinge. I uh, took all the wrapping and everything off earlier. So we have inside here, I love this. Co-create your most beautiful and meaningful manis manifestations. All right, then on the sides we have, ooh, let me get this like level here. <laughs> Life is magical, you are magical. So I love these little details. I feel like it just adds so much more to the deck. And so, like I said, I already took off all of the little stuff so we don't have to fiddle with it. Ooh. And then let's just take a look at the book here, just so you guys get an idea on what to expect and make an invalid or make a valid decision for when you want to purchase, if you want to purchase. So it does have an introduction, um, how to work with the seven uh, energies Oracle deck and how this Oracle will serve you. And then their cards and meaning. So it is separated into some, um, so seven, obviously, different energies. So we have earth, water, fire, love, sound, light, and thought. So they will be um, broken up into those seven categories. And then um, each category has a card with their meaning. So that's pretty cool. So I'm excited to see how these will work. Um, let's see. The structure of the Oracle deck draws upon the understanding of the power of seven. This is an intuitive divination system inspired not only by the mind, body, spirit model of energy, consciousness, and co-creation contained within the traditional understanding of the seven chakras, awesome, but also by the wisdom of seven reflected in so many belief systems and modern practices. Within this oracle, the concept of the seven energies can be said to apply to the totality of your life story. Let's see. I'm also applying Western psychological perspective on how we as individuals create and experience our reality, evolving and transforming through this living mind body interface. Okay. Let's see, do, 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 do. stuff about how to use the Oracle. So, okay, here we go. Themes of this deck. I've chosen to loosely base the architecture of this deck on the seven colors of the rainbow and the psycho spiritual wisdom of seven energy systems as described in so many systems <laughs> or energy centers. Okay, Miss Trelawney, I get it. There are seven cards within each of the seven energetic uh, categories for a total of 49 cards. The psychological, spiritual, and life themes that animate the Oracle are as follows. So we have the energy one, red earth, energy two, orange water, energy three, yellow fire, energy four, green and love, energy five, sky blue sound, energy six, purple with light, and then energy seven, golden white thought. Okay. All right, so then it goes into um, all of the meanings. I thought I saw spreads. Did I see spreads? Yes, I did. So there are some spreads here too. We've got one card, two card, three card, and seven energy crescent reading. That looks interesting. All right, and then it goes into the cards. Okay, so now that I've covered the guidebook, we're gonna take a look at 
this deck, we'll shuffle it, we'll pull a card, and then we'll see how it reads, like I always do, just so you can get a clear view on how this deck will serve you. So this is the back of the card. Super cute. I love the spiral of the rainbow. I love that. Simple yet effective. All right, here we go. Let me just move the camera. Beautiful. Okay, so the cards are a little bit thin, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they're not terribly thin, so there's still some flex and stability in it, so I'm not gonna complain just yet. <laughs> All righty. Beautifully illustrated, I have to say. I always love seeing Jenna's artwork. Loving that there is no borders. I'm loving that it's not glossy. I'm loving the rounded corners and the size. I love the theme down there written out for you. No complaints so far with how this is looking. It is what it is. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> this one is gorgeous. Hopefully you can see the beautiful face back there. I'm curious to know if this has been on your wish list, if this is something you've been excited about. I know there is a challenge that Colette was talking about. I get her emails, but I've been so busy that I've not been able to really get into that or um, understand what that was all about. So, oh, beautiful. I love that. So let me know if you're doing that, if you, um, are taking part in that and if that if this deck has been in your um, line of vision this is really cool chess pieces I do not know how to play chess <laughs> gorgeous I am in love with the imagery it's so really like it's just beautiful it's very pretty love this the target <gasps> Ooh. Look at that lion. Awesome. I am so excited to see how this is going to be read. I feel like there's a lot of ways that you can use this deck. Oh, cute. Oh, now I'm noticing the different um, colored bordered numbers there. So that's making more sense to me. A little hummingbirds, beautiful. Okay, that's really cool. I'm just now noticing that, so way to be observant. My goodness. Love it. Oh, there's some blue now. Okay, beautiful. Oh, absolutely stunning. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, how cute. Love the keyhole with the key. A little Pinocchio puppet, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Interesting. So there is a lot of diversity, which I am super excited about. Yay, that's what I have to say to that. Beautiful. And then we're in the golden yellow. So pretty. Okay, so I'm already in love with it. Um, I think that the concept is pretty dang awesome. And the imagery is just beautiful. And I'm loving the 
um, theme of each card. All right, no issues with, with the shuffling. I'm actually liking how they feel. They're thin, but, um, so they're not terribly thin if you can tell. I don't personally like really, really thick cards because it's hard for me, it's more difficult for me to shuffle, right? Um, it just doesn't have that flexibility. These aren't thin to where they're gonna fall apart on you anytime soon. These are more, uh, so if you, if you have worked with the modern day witch or modern modern witch tarot, um, those are pretty thick for me. These are a little bit thinner than that. So they're they're not bad. I'm trying to give you a, um, a, <laughs> a generalization of what to expect, but honestly, these are just fine. I think I think they feel like any other um, Colette Baron Reed cards, to be fair. And they shuffle just fine. So is there a card that wants to pop out? Yep, we're gonna do the lion. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this will be um, read as in the book. And I'll link to the um, stand there as well in the description box as always. Okay, so we'll go to number 19, Waking the Lion. So it has key concepts here. And it says, boldness, the courage to move forward even without knowing the way, facing that which is difficult or painful, the audacity to step into the unknown. <laughs> Cue frozen. Um, <laughs> regardless of the outer conditions right now, you can't wait for your fear to lessen before you move forward. In fact, despite the chaos and seeming disarray, you must be bold. Whatever your trepidation, act as if you have deep trust that all will be well. Nothing is promised to you, but you will never truly see magic if you don't take the risk, come to the edge of certainty in your life, and leap into the unknown. You have no guarantee of immediate success. Still, you must summon your bravery in the face of possible pain, failure, or even success and own your power. The act of making this leap, no matter the final outcome, awakens the lion within. Be proud of who you are and who you are becoming. No one can take this away from you. What type of courage is called for today? Only you know, and only you have the power to choose your path. Know what it takes just, or know that it takes just as much strength and bravery to love and be vulnerable as it does to confront a personal challenge or physical obstacle. So call on your strength and stand your ground or consciously temper your emotional reactions, do nothing and trust in your partnership with the divine. Whatever your choice, you will not fail as long as you act with courage and integrity. Oh my goodness. Awesome. So Bottom line is I feel like this deck can really um, be uh, a chameleon deck, whereas you can use it for multiple things. Um, I would love it for a card a day, um, as I do. So I'll pull a card for the day to get the general theme of what I need to focus on or where um, I'm lacking or whatever the case may be. Pulling a card helps me kind of just get into a meditative state for the day. So this would be one of those decks that would be great for that. Um, it'd be great for any any way you want to use it. Um, so I'm curious to see what you would use it for. Um, I love, I love, I love the illustrations. I love the concept. Um, I love that you get the different um, uh, subcategories. Yeah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> it shuffles great. I feel like is really good quality. As with all of Colette's decks, I I never really have an issue with her decks. I know some people don't like her um, decks, but for me personally, I never have an issue. I love that the borders here tell you what category it is without taking away from the rest of the card. So that's fantastic. Um, I would love to know your thoughts on this deck if you're excited about it. I feel like it's a great all around um, deck that it's not necessarily um, for one specific thing, which is fantastic. I was going into this with the thought of, okay, it might just be for, you know, one certain kind of reading or whatever. But um, to be fair, not really. I think you could use this for a lot of different reasons. So 
Again, let me know what you think. Are you excited about this deck? Do you think it's going to be one that you'll use often? What will you use it for? I love hearing your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of the video. That way you'll never miss a video upload from me. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna start using these in the pick a cards. Woohoo! All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.